Hey, what's going on everybody? Thanks for tuning in. Okay, what I'm gonna be doing today is I'm gonna be giving you a brief tutorial on how to do the Patti LaBelle fan mohawk. Now I know a lot of you out there are like, what is the Patti LaBelle fan mohawk, okay? This is a brief description, well, a picture of what exactly the Patti LaBelle fan mohawk looks like, okay? All right, and that's actually the cover of my first CD called Venomous Spit. And on the back, it's me and my DJ, DJ Aries. He's with Hood Heart. I am also, so. All right. And that's that, okay? The fan mohawk, all right? Now, first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you all the things that you need, okay? And the first thing that you're going to need is a fine tooth comb like this and such. 99 cent, okay? You're also going to need um, a wide tooth comb like this and such, okay? Another 99 cent. Might be a dollar fifty. I paid 99 cent for mine. Alright. Now as far as the products that you're gonna need, this is what I normally use as far as the just freeze it. I normally use the mega hold. Okay. And as you can see, it says mega freeze right there. You can purchase that at Walmart for four dollars and twenty-four cents. No more than five dollars. Okay. Today I'm gonna be using original freeze spray only because I picked up the wrong bottle, okay? So I'm gonna be using this one today, and it's $4.24 at your local Walmart, all right? Now, another one of the product ducts that I use is called Got To Be Glue, okay? It's Gotta Be Glue Blasting Free Spray. And you can get this for about $4.95 at your local Walmart as well, all right? Now those are the only two products that I'm gonna use today, but I'm gonna show you another product that I would use if I were doing the spikes in my hair, but I'm not doing that today, okay? I'm gonna do a tutorial on that next week, okay? But this is the product that you would use if you were gonna do spikes in your hair, okay? And it's called Gotta Be Glue Spiking Glue, all right, okay? And this also is about $5, so, all right, okay? So you saw the two spritz that I'm gonna use. Actually, I'm really only gonna be using one, which is the Just Freeze It, the um, regular hold, because I'm almost out of the, the Blast and Freeze. Ugh, I hate it. But believe once the tutorial is done, I will be running over to my local Walmart, getting some more of that, all right? Now today, to flavor up my Mohawk, what I'm gonna do, use is I'm gonna use um, High Beans, okay? And I showed you guys this the other day, okay? This is High Bean Spray, and this was on sale today. It was like $2.49, and it's burgundy, okay? Today, um, yesterday was World's AIDS Day, so I'm going to be performing tonight, and they want us all to wear red, so I like to kind of color coordinate my hair sometime, okay? So I'm going to be wearing red, so that's where the burgundy comes in, all right? Now to the mohawk, okay? Now what you do first is you... Um, Comb your hair up into a mohawk-like position, all right? And I don't know if mine stays like this all the time because it's been put in the mohawk so many times, if it's just trained or what. But you kind of just pull your hair up into a mohawk-like position and you spray the sides. So, so what you're doing is just kind of prepping your mohawk for what you're about to do to it, okay? And you use the wide tooth comb to kind of shape it or to kind of, you know, guide it or direct it into the way you want it to go. Look like I got some little muscles, huh? <laughs> okay. After that, um, you just kind of train it like I said. You go back and forth and you spray in between the just freeze it to the freeze blasting spray, the gotta be. The gotta be glue freeze blasting. You go back and forth. You pan back and forth, okay? All right. Now the next part, after you get it kinda, you know, moist a little bit, you just, like I said, you start shaping it into the mohawk, okay? All right? And you can almost see it starting to form right between your eyes. Right before your eyes, I'm sorry. Right before your eyes, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to unplug the mic because I'm gonna begin blow drying. And as you can see, it's already starting to form, you know? Mine's is actually cut in a mohawk, so it may be a little bit easier for me. 
I don't have any hair on my sides. It is beginning to grow back and I don't want to cut it because it's winter. Um, I'll cut it on occasions depending on what I'm doing, um, what event I have coming up, or if I have like a really big shoot coming up, I'll cut the sides and kind of design them or whatnot. But I'm not going to do that today. So I'm going to unplug my mic, take my earpiece off, and I'm going to just show you how to do the mohawk. All right. So we're going to start and then we're going to time and see how long it takes to achieve this crazy, crazy mohawk that you see venom with when she's out in the scene. All right. Okay. 